If this is your first time checking the channel, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. These videos are very informal, conversational, and right to the point, no fluff and all stuff. And I would invite you, if you have any experience on the topic at hand, have an opinion, uh, have something, uh, some advice to offer, anything regarding the topic, please be a great human and comment below so we can all learn from you and grow together. Now, uh, I also want to give you a disclaimer that I'm not an attorney and I'm not a, a financial advisor, so do all of your due diligence and research. Things change daily in the credit world, and you want to make sure that you're just double-checking that work, especially if you're watching this a year later, uh, because that can happen with YouTube, right? Anyways, let's just jump right into the review. So, what is the truth about Credit Karma, okay? Uh, a lot of people say, do you like Credit Karma? Is Credit Karma good to use? And I'm gonna kinda of give you my thoughts on this video and I would invite you to give me your car thoughts of if you like it, if you don't like it, your experience with Credit Karma. But for me, it's not really my favorite. And, and the reason why it's not really my favorite and the reason why I don't really use it um, is because it is based off the Vantage score and not the FICO score. And for you, you could say, well, what's the difference between the Vantage and the FICO? I'm gonna make a whole video about that. So make sure you check out all the playlists in my financial literacy. No, no uh, credit check videos, credit union videos, you just name it, I have it. There'll be something for everybody. I try to uh, appease and accommodate everyone I can as far as leveraging credit, building credit, and getting high access funding and marketing and all that. So check out the playlist. But I, I digress. It's basically based off the Vantage score and not the FICO score. And a lot of people don't even know that there's 67 different credit modules or basically scoring models okay and and the the two very popular ones are the vantage and the fico um, the problem is is this that the the vantage is going to be inflated by maybe 30 to 50 points and so what i found when a lot of people were doing real estate was basically they would they would think that they're going to get approved for a loan they just saying hey i have this type of credit score and then when the credit is pulled they get sticker shock and like, oh, wow, I thought I had this type of score. And they're looking at their, their credit karma, which shows their Vantage score. Um, and then the problem is, is that lenders are going to use the mortgage score from my FICO. And they're going to take the middle score and that's going to be your score. So, yeah, is it a cool, uh, what I do, let me tell you what I like credit karma for. If you have no idea what your credit is and you're using credit karma, you can get an idea of where you're at in your credit score. But just keep in mind that if you're using it, it could be 30 to 50 points lower, so don't get overly excited, but you'll get a range of where your credit is at. Now, I actually use my uh, experience uh, credit and I pay for it every single month. I just like it. I like being able to see all the different scoring models. Uh, I'm not trying to promote it to you guys. I'm just telling you what I use personally. Uh, my FICO, in my opinion, is the most accurate scoring model. Obviously, they're always adding my FICO 10 and FICO this and FICO that. And so it's hard to keep up with them all. Uh, but that is kind of the, the scenario is Credit Karma. Um, you'll be able to see your, your accounts when you've opened them, how long they've been open, what your utilization rate is. That's great. That's handy. That's cool. But don't go off Credit Karma for your actual true credit score because it won't be accurate because it's based off Vantage and most people don't use Vantage, like 79 to 80 percent of people use my FICO, they don't use Vantage score. Now, some people use the Vantage scoring model, but it's not something that is widely used across the board in the industry. And, like I said, if you get a TransUnion or Equifax or Experian or however you want to do it, you always want to, um, if you're going to subscribe to any of those, then you're always going to look at your FICO score because that is what's going to matter and that's what most lenders go off of. It's the most balanced as well. So um, anyways, just wanted to kind of give you an idea of, of that. Um, like I said, it, there's been a lot of questions about Credit Karma and if it, it, like I said, if it's legit, it is legit. It's just based off the Vantage score. If this is your uh, first time checking out the video too, I would also, the video channel, I would also invite you to join our private Facebook group. Um, that's getting ready to do weekly live streams every single week. We're getting that all together. You do have to apply for it just because we're we're not accepting everybody. We're just making sure people don't spam people, that they don't solicit, they don't promote themselves. I'm not going to be doing that either. I'm not going to be selling anything. I'm going to be creating an environment where people can 
dialogue and ask questions and build relationships. So if that's something you want to be a part of, we're, we're really laying the groundwork on that. So go ahead and join that. If you guys are watching this video and you've been rocking with me for a minute, I just appreciate you guys. The channel's been growing like crazy. I've been trying to keep up. Uh, so my promise is trying to get out two videos a day for everybody and taking people's questions and making videos around that and just not holding back, right? Like a lot of people do this as a service and stuff like that. Like I'm just like, well, YouTube's gonna pay me. Why not just give out this info for free? They're just gonna have to watch a couple ads. That's it. So if there's anything re related to building credit, mortgages, whatever the case is, social media, uh, I have a lot of experience in that. I've been in sales and marketing my entire life. Uh, pretty much it feels like out of high school. That's just what I got into. Been in the timeshare, been into the cellular world, been in the software market. I'm verified I'm very, uh, on a lot of social media accounts. So I know this world and I'm just a guy that doesn't like BS. And I like people to give me the information. The hardest thing is trying to learn something and just going through a bunch of fluff and a bunch of jokes that you don't really care about you just want to get the information and you want to you want to get those answers and so you go to google and then you go to youtube and usually people watch things and and and, and things resonate with them so i just want to invite you to the facebook group if you guys want to do that if you guys have any questions comments whatsoever uh feel free to leave that in the description below i know i'm taking a little bit of time on this video just because there's just some announcements that i wanted to make and I kind of kept this video short just because there wasn't a lot to really go over with Credit Karma outside of the main points that they use Vantage, they don't use FICO. You don't want to be assuming that your your Credit Karma score is your score. It's it, it's just remember it's it's an idea of what it is. It's not what it actually is. Be aware of that, especially when you're going to get into a mortgage. So that way you know what your best interest rates are going to be at. That way you can plan accordingly and yeah and especially with credit cards too right like they're going to be going a lot of these lenders got their own scoring models fake away or equifax or this and that and every scoring model isn't the same so when you say what well, do i need to get to a, what do i need to get approved that's why this channel is so valuable is people can tell you hey they use this scoring model these are the data points that you need based on the forums based on ex uh, experience with other people so that's why you definitely want to subscribe to the channel because there's going to be something for everybody down the road. And it's, it, I would love to know, uh, put in the comment section below what your favorite topic is that you'd like me to talk about more. As the channel grows, I'm going to try to accommodate you guys as best as I can. The, the channel is growing really, really fast and I'm really humbled by that because I didn't actually think this was going to take off like this. Um, but I'm humbled and uh, it's because of you that I do this. So anyways, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Put your thoughts in the comment section and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.